Yeah, I think it's really hard for people to get very consistent with these healthy habits because they think that they honestly get bored. They don't have a lot of, um, you know, different variation in their diets and they start eating things that they think they should eat rather than the things that they want to eat. And I think it's really important that you don't give up the things you love, but really figure out new ways to have them so that you can do this for the long term, right? Eating grilled chicken and, you know, steamed vegetables every day is like you just look down the, you know, lane of your life and you go, am I going to do this forever? No. So we got to find ways to keep it interesting. I think that's the key. Yeah, so the cravings are huge, right? We live in a really crazy food environment now where we're always being triggered to want things from television commercials and, and, and onward. So I'm really always recommending that you figure out what it is you're craving, right? If you want French fries, we can do that. We've got a healthier option here. I've partnered today with Bolt House Farms and we've made some baked carrot fries. So yeah, so easy. You're just gonna slice up the carrots, toss them in olive oil and bake them for a little while. The key here is even that will get boring if you eat it every Every single day but you can keep it really interesting by using I put out sometimes a trio of dipping sauces of these amazing lower calorie lower fat um, both house farms dressings from the ranch to the blue cheese to a balsamic so that you can really dip these in there and have a different flavor and and change it up from night to night so salty you got to take care of it sweet too I've got another a little bit of a recipe here for you with a delicious mug cake so so mug cakes are kind of taking the internet by storm, if you will. Um, if you want to have a little treat, you can make the perfect size portion in a coffee mug. So we've made a carrot mug cake today to kind of satisfy those sweet cravings. This one is so easy. Simply you're going to mix these ingredients in a coffee mug and put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. And we've kept it simple by using carrot juice instead of even having to chop carrots and you get a really nice deep flavor of carrot in your carrot cake in your excuse me in your carrot cake so yeah this will hit those uh, sweet cravings we've got carrot fries for the salty cravings yeah, so dinner, dinner you've got to keep it interesting. And another tip is if you're going to go about making a dinner, make a double portion so you can have it as leftovers for lunch. I brought an amazing recipe that I've been loving lately, which is a spin, a healthy spin on fettuccine Alfredo. It's like zoodles Alfredo. So zoodles are another very trendy, very popular thing that's happening in food right now. And so you're making noodles out of zucchini using a spiralizer, or you can even buy these in your vegetables section of your grocery store a lot of groceries are actually making these zucchini noodles now so you're saving a lot of calories with uh, swapping out the noodles swapping out the pasta and putting in noodles instead and then what we've done here is we've used as the sauce we've used the creamy roasted garlic yogurt based dressing again and toss that together so you've got a wonderful base and then I like to do things to change it up maybe put on some grilled shrimp or some nicely grilled chicken to add a little lean protein to this again if I'm gonna go to the trouble of making this I make double and then I bring it the next day for lunch and it makes a, a, a beautiful leftover lunch Yeah, I always recommend you bring things to a party, right? So I kind of uh, am in the, the vein of like protect yourself, right? Bring something that you know that you can go to. So I have actually brought along my personal baked wing recipe, which I'm a little famous for at these parties, especially with the Super Bowl coming up. Uh, I've got uh, this baked wing, wing recipe that I have a secret to. There's a little secret that I actually marinate the wings in the yogurt-based ranch dressing and this gets them very tender right so I put them in a ziploc put cover them in the ranch dressing and they get very tender I think it's the enzymes in the yogurt that are really helping the, the, the tenderness of the meat I marinate them in there then I toss them with a buffalo style uh, uh, dressing and then I bake them up 
and they're delicious. Crispy on the outside, very tender on the inside. So you, again, you can just really save yourself some calories and fat by being creative. Uh, bring along your vegetable platter as well, right? These parties are really tough when you are seeing all these amazing things that you want to grab. I position myself close to the vegetable platter. I always put on a couple of really interesting dippings, sauces, so, you know, I've got a honey mustard here, a ranch, um, so that I can kind of be over there keeping myself away from the chips and all the rest uh, on the other side of the room. So bring something along for sure. Yes, so all of the recipes that I talked about today are going to be uh, on our Pinterest page, our Twitter, and our Instagram, and its handle is at Bolt House Farms. Uh, so go on over there. You'll see everything that I've laid out here and more. Uh, so I hope you'll come along and follow us. We're always making new and interesting, uh, delicious recipes to keep it interesting and fun and keep you in it for the long haul.